You're watching CNA Heroes. Here's Lisa Sweet. Hello once again, and thank you for watching CNA Heroes. My name is Lisa Sweet. I'm the co-founder of the National Association of Healthcare Assistants. Thank you for watching these segments on incredible and extraordinary nursing assistants. The work of a CNA is very demanding physically and emotionally, often squeezing every bit of energy they have before they clock out and go home. CNAs, assisted living caregivers, patient care technicians, home health and hospice aides, they give so much of themselves to meet the needs of others. They use their muscle and their bodies to physically assist those who are weak and need help. They use their minds to organize their work and their tasks, prioritizing the needs of the patients. And they use their hearts to provide comfort and support. It seems as though CNAs would have nothing left to give once they clock out to go home. But not today's CNA hero. Thank you to the Kansas City Star for their coverage of this story. Amy Bultemeyer, CNA, worked on the transplant floor at the Mid-America Heart Institute at St. Luke's Hospital in Kansas City, Missouri. In a Kansas City Star interview, Amy said that through her work in 2010, she became particularly close to two guys her age, single parents, both in critical need of heart transplants. Amy couldn't imagine being a young single parent needing an organ donation to survive. Amy wanted to help someone, even a stranger, by donating what she could, and that was a kidney. After much research and prayer, Amy called the Midwest Transplant Network in September 2010. She underwent nine months of medical tests, interviews, mental health screenings, and background checks to make certain she was a good candidate for a living kidney donor. She knew she was purposely putting her body at risk to save another person's life, but it was something she really wanted to do. The summer of 2011, Amy entered the hospital and she underwent the surgery to remove one of her kidneys. It went to an anonymous recipient, a stranger she did not know. Since the surgery, Amy has received one card from the recipient of her kidney, a man named Patrick, who wrote that he was eternally grateful to her. Think about this. There are 100,000 people in the U.S. waiting for a kidney donation. Three to five years is the average wait time for a deceased donor. Many people die waiting for a kidney. A kidney from a living donor offers patients an alternative to years of dialysis and time on the national transplant waiting list. Organ donation is so very important. One person's donations can influence up to 75 patients' lives. Amy Bultemeyer, a single mother having lost her husband to a brain aneurysm, gave the most selfless gift of all. She gave the gift of life to another person without expectation of anything in return. My shirt today says, believe there is good in the world. Amy Bultemeyer makes me believe there is good in the world. She is the good in the world. So please today join me in celebrating Amy Bultemeyer, CNA hero.